coming back for another video and today we are here for around 13 tips of the 2024 NRL Torch Premiership season. First things first, you're probably wondering where have I been over the last few weeks for our tipping videos or for last week. I apologise for missing last week. Had a few things come up. So, but we still did our tipping as per usual with Claude Arkley's rugby league column. We'll definitely get him on again soon for a proper tipping video. But yeah, and you're probably wondering why am I in my bathroom walls because we're doing some stuff around the house and where I normally do my streaming setup is unavailable, so I'm in here. So yeah, it's probably in the best lighting in the house I can get. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you're new in here, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on TikTok and Instagram, and hang on to the Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. Without further ado, let's get straight into around 13 tips and predictions. In the last two weeks, we took on Roasty at Magic Grand. We got the 10-7 victory over Roasty which is really good, I didn't expect that one. And then we actually did go down the Clarkies Rugby League top column in a really tight one there, but uh, yeah, it was a really good contest. So congratulations to Clarkie, he's the third guest to beat me this year. So well done to Clarkie. It's now time for our new guest for round number 13. It is the great Wallen Jaw Sports. And uh, yeah, let's go say good day to him. Howdy, Hainsy. Howdy, everybody. Well, I'm making my debut on the Hainsy YouTube channel. This is fantastic. Thank you very much for the opportunity, and I think you do a fantastic job um, for the Eastern Suburbs and going to almost every single game now. I think you are a fantastic supporter and content creator. Um, so, again, thank you very much for the opportunity. I'm at Eels taking on the Cronulla Sharks, the first game of Round 13 at Colmex Stadium in Sydney. Big returns for the Parramatta Eels. They've got Clint Gulferson and Mitchell Moses back for the Eels. The Sharks have got a few injuries out through to, through to and Origin selections as well. So, uh, tough game this one to pick. Um, no hop good for the Eels as well. Uh, Hines is the big out there for the uh, for the Sharks. So, it's going to be a tough game this one. I'm going to take the Eels because Clafferson and Moses is back. So, it's a big in there. And they're going to score any time. I'm going to go with, with uh, Dylan Brown any time try score. We start with the game of the round. Parramatta versus Cronulla. I think the Parramatta Eels, though, I think they're going to get them it's this season. I like Parramatta. Um, they're a, they are a different beast out there at Combank Stadium as well. I'm going to take the Parramatta Eels, but I think this will be a high-scoring game. So I'm actually going to go Dylan Brown as an anytime try scorer. Possible scoreline. Um, I reckon 24 points to 18. This game and only game on Friday night sees the Newcastle Knights take on the Canterbury Banks down Bulldogs. Um, Newcastle won four in a row at Cunt Ponga. Bulldogs have been playing really well at the moment, but no Burton is a big out. I know they still got out of car there and all that, but Burton's a big out. And uh, Kikau is also a big out. He's out for the next six weeks, so it's a big blow there for the Bulldogs. So leaning towards the Newcastle Knights, 13 plus here. Any time try scorer, I'm going to go with Armstrong. Knights and Bulldogs up in the Hunter. Gee whiz, there's a lot of history when it comes to this clash, isn't there? This is a seriously hard weekend. This is a hard game to tip um, overall. I want to tip the Bulldogs, but there's something telling me that the Newcastle Knights, who have been unconvincing over the past couple of weeks, just might be able to just drag themselves over the line. I'm going to tip the Canary Bankstown Bulldogs with Jacob Carraz to be an anytime try scorer and a scoreline, uh, 20 points to 14. First game on Saturday sees the Brendan Panthers take on the Dragons at uh, points uh, at uh, Blue Bet Stadium in Sydney. Uh, the Panthers, big win over the, uh, the Sharks there, 42-0. Dragons, they were disappointing against the Bulldogs. Tough game to pick this one. Both teams are decimated by injury, Panthers more so. Real big test here for the Panthers. I'm gonna go bold here, going the upset. I'm gonna go with the Dragons, 1-12, to 12, and Max Figo, he's going to score any time. Boy, howdy. This is New South Wales Cup on the elite stage, Saturday, 5.30pm. Wow, we. I'm not sure if Marshke and Flanagan can combine better than Jack Cole and Brad Schneider in saying that we've never seen a Cole-Schneider pairing on or in first grade before, and it will be... Seriously fascinating to see how Penrith go without the work of Dylan Edwards coming out of trouble. I'm going to tip the Penrith Panthers. You've got to trust that system. Like, even if they are at quarter strength and the other team is at full strength, you just, you've got to tip Penrith, man. It, the, the system is absolutely incredible. The best team at least of the past 20 seasons. I'm going to tip the Penrith Panthers to win this one. And we're going to Sunia to Ruva to crash over for a try. Um... I'm not too sure about the scoreline in this one. This could be a really defensive-orientated contest, um, or it could be 
a really high scoring affair, being that there is a lot of New South Wales talent in this game. So maybe the defence may be a little bit more loose in that aspect. But the big reason why I am tipping Penrith Panthers, though, is because you still got that guard, that gate of Fisher-Harris, Liotta and Kenny up in the front row. Second game on Saturday sees the Dolphins take on the Raiders at their spiritual home at KO Stadium in Redcliffe. Dolphins are in the top four, the Raiders are still in the top eight, but they were disappointing against the Roosters last week, so it's a big game this one. I'm going to go the Dolphins 1-12 to at home, and Fuller's back on the side for the Dolphins at fullback. He's scoring any time. Dolphins and Raiders this weekend. So just quickly, I'm going to be at that game at KO Stadium. I hear that it's officially sold out. So it's going to be a cracker, by the way. If it's not Parramatta versus Cronulla, Dolphins and Raiders on the Saturday night is going to be a beauty. And if the Dolphins are at their spiritual home at Redcliffe Lakes Club at KO Stadium, oh man, this is so hard. I'm going to tip the Canberra Raiders. I'm not convinced... I don't think anyone's going to be convinced about this game, man. Um, but I'm going to tip the Canberra Raiders, and I'm going to go Matt Timiko to be an anytime try scorer in this game. And I'm buggered if I know what kind of a scoreline that we're going to get. And the final game of round 13 sees my boys City Roosters take on Wollum Jaw Sports at North Queensland Cowboys at Allianz Stadium in Sydney. The Roosters 44-16 against the Raiders, one four of the last five. The Cowboys have been hit and missed. They won their last two, though, so given that, against the Souths and the Tigers, but it still wins, and they're in some form here against the Roosters. Uh, but both teams have uh, been affected by Origin, the Cowboys more so, but I think the big in for the Tedesco didn't miss the Origin, but he is here ready to go. Um, and I think he's going to have a blinder, and he's going to prove why he should be in the team. So I'm going to go the Roosters 13 plus, and James Tedesco anytime try score. For the final time, I said over the set. Hainsey, strap yourself in, mate. Because we all might be about to see the greatest ever James Tedesco performance. And it's still not going to be enough for the Roosters to topple the North Queensland Cowboys this Sunday. Also the first ever trip for the North Queensland Cowboys to the brand new Allianz Stadium. And while our history overall at Moore Park is not that great, um, it is still a new venture, a new venture for the Cowboys to try and conquer, and they will. I'm going to go Finifuiaki to be an anytime try scorer, and I'm going to go a scoreline because both defences will leak points this weekend. I'm going to go a scoreline of 32 to 28. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching the video. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. There is our round 13 tips of the 2024 NFL Touch Premiership season. Five games this week. I know it's short. If I don't get five out of five, I'm an absolute loser. Thank you, Sam from Bolivar Jaw Sports, for coming on this week. Good luck in our game on Sunday. Not too much luck with Chooks 13 plus. Oi, just before I go, again, thank you for letting me collaborate with you. Um, and to everybody that may not know me, uh, please come over and check out my channel, Wobble and Jaw Sports. And thank you very much for the opportunity again, Hainsey. Have a very nice weekend, but go you Cowboys. Have a good one, Hainsey. But well, I go get, go check them out on um, YouTube. Really great content. And speaking of it, thank you very much, guys. We finally hit two thousand subscribers in May. Very very short time frame, but we got there. Thank you very much for your support, guys. Continue liking the videos. Complete complete subscribing to the channel. It means a lot to me. And on the top of that as well, we hit ten k on all socials. We're about just close at six k on TikTok. We've got two on Instagram, two on YouTube. Thank you very much for your continuous support. I really appreciate your support, guys. It really does. Thank you very much for watching the video, you guys. As usual, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, follow me on TikTok and Instagram, at hangs on T. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one. See you out there at Allianz on Sunday. Till then, it's goodbye for now. Up the chooks.